the key here is not Israel. Israel obviously must play a significant part in it. The key is the international community. Um, and it's the international community that, by its actions, continues to encourage aggression against Israel. And for example, when um, we had uh, the conflicts in Gaza, over the last three conflicts in Gaza, these, these were all, at no point did Hamas believe it could defeat Israel or even damage Israel. It knew it couldn't. What it wanted to do by those actions was to provoke an Israeli response which would result in its own people getting killed, the, the, the Gazan people getting killed, and therefore the condemnation of Israel by the international community. That is all, is all they wanted to achieve from that. Of course, they wanted to please their Iranian paymasters as well, but that was by the by. They really wanted to, to isolate um, Israel even further, and that's what they're doing, in, 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 not just in military terms, but in diplomatic terms as well. So it's not down to Israel really so much. I mean, Israel has its roles, but it's more down, I think, to the international community to to change its uh, approach. And I think we have seen some small signs of that. Um, we saw, I think, a better approach by the many members of the international community, including the leadership of my own government, in the last conflict compared to the previous two. Some small signs. As Daniel said at the beginning, this is not a, an overnight process. And I think, as I mentioned also in my remarks, the, um, the, the, the increasing number of Islamic terrorist attacks against European countries, horrific though that is, may well end up pushing uh, the, 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 the opinions of the people in Europe more in the direction of Israel. I think that's already happening quite strongly, and it's a question of the, the leadership of those countries uh, coming to that view as well. And I think actually in many cases they have come to that view, but they are still grappling with how to do it. And they not only do they want, in, in countries like Britain, do they want to continue to appease the Arabs, as they've been doing really since the Balfour Declaration onwards, um, and the reaction to the Balfour Declaration has caused British appeasement of the Arabs in this region and elsewhere. Not only do they want to do that, they've also now got the problem in all of their countries of a significant Muslim population who cast votes, who are significant in uh, electoral terms, but are also significant in the threat they present, because, and again, you know, the, a, a lot of the time the narrative is that these attacks take place because of support for Israel by Western countries, as well as foreign policy in other parts of the Middle East. And I think that um, gradually the leadership is, is understanding, and, and we need to, it needs to, it's them that need to, to take action to stop it so that we don't have a situation when, um, the Palest when Hamas attacks Israel of the West condemning Israel for not doing enough to save the lives of Palestinians, but absolutely outright condemning the Palestinians. And it's the same with the incitement of hate. Anit is quite correct, I'm sure, when she says that a people can't be expected to educate their children um, in, beyond, in, in a way that's contrary to the beliefs and the, the, the general view of their society. That, of course, is right, which is another reason why we're in a very, very difficult situation. But why should my taxes pay to support that narrative. They shouldn't be. We should, I shouldn't be paying for school books, films, teachers, or any other resources that uh, teach hatred of Jews and Israelis. So I think, sorry, I, 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 I really do think Israel's got, uh, Israel, perhaps in this context, Israel's greatest role is to, is to go as far as it can in, in turning the opinion of other countries. And I think, you know, um, Mrs. Phillips, or is it Ms. Phillips, Melanie Phillips, my good friend Melanie Phillips, um, made the point that uh, sometimes Israel itself is, doesn't go far enough and doesn't push the agenda far enough. But I think it's very much something for, for the international community, led, of course, by the United States. But I'd like also to see the United Kingdom, when we gain our own independence, we're going to have our Independence Day shortly, when we gain our own independence from the EU, uh, hopefully the UK will be able to take a stronger role.